as such. It's just me in the Falcon driving around picking up things that I need for another project. This is week seven without the Triton. It still hasn't been fixed yet. School starts next week and what I have come to the conclusion on is this car needs a professional tune from someone who knows what they're doing. And I spoke to some tuners last week. One of them was pretty helpful and he said it sounds like it's either got a harmonic balancer problem or a timing chain problem. And he said the harmonic balancer could be out, meaning the readings you're getting from your timing light are wrong which makes a lot of sense but I have replaced the harmonic balancer with a new one and I would hope that the timing marks made sense after that but the guy did say on the phone unless you find true top dead center you're not really going to know and he also said your timing chain could be getting slack which will affect all the timing unfortunately he was pretty busy it's the start of the new year he said give me two weeks and we can probably look at that and that was a week ago so the plan is not to get this tuned until the Triton comes back because to be blunt I need this car to drive around my only other option at the moment is my motorcycle and I can't take my kids to school on that so I'll, go to, I'll continue to drive this car around until such time as the Triton comes back. So I'm off to race car engineering today to try and find a smaller LS starter motor for my E30 because the current starter motor doesn't fit in the engine bay with the steering rack where it is. I've got a steering rack from a later model BMW that has the pinion close to the centre line of the car so the aftermarket engine mount kits don't take that into account obviously so I need to change the starter motor over to one that will fit in the gap and that's fine fortunately LS's have plenty of support like that and um, hopefully race car engineering has a starter motor that will do the job So that expedition was a bit of a bust as it turns out. The only LS starter motors that Race Car Engineering had were the same size dimensionally as the stock starter motor that I can't use anyway. So I went home and I got on the phone to Outlaw Speed Shop about one of the starter motors I'd seen on their website and said to them, does this have an offset reduction drive starter motor? So is it the same as the one in the picture? And the guy went and had a look and said, yes it is. So that should hopefully get me out of the woods with the steering rack issue and get me an LS starter motor that doesn't interfere with everything. So join me next time on Missile Industries episode 106, which would hopefully be the I'm getting my 
Ford Falcon professionally tuned episode. I've got a bit going on with other projects right now, so I'm not sure whether it's going to be next week or the week after that I'm actually going to get the Falcon to a shop to get tuned. Because as I stated earlier, I currently need the Falcon as my daily driver. And I can't very much tow it to the shop with my Triton because the Triton's not available. And I can't leave the Falcon at a shop and have no wheels because I've got kids at school. So I'm just going to have to wait. Bear with me. I'll be back soon enough.